my favorite dance is Uchshuch, and it's a puffin dance. It tells a story of a puffin flying over a village and looking down and seeing girls dancing. When I dance, I feel strong and confident and really happy. I'm most happy when I'm dancing. <laughs> Well, I've been dancing my whole life, from Western dance to Native dancing. I started dancing Unangok style dancing about 12 years ago with the Atukam Tilikas Nikonga, so the Atka dancers, uh, one of the well-known Unangok dance groups. I remember seeing them when I was, I must have been like four in Akitan for the first time. And from that moment on, I knew what I wanted to do, that I wanted to be a dancer. There are endless numbers of stories to tell in dance. In Alaska Native cultures, dancing is, is a way to tell stories. Um, you tell the stories through your hands and through the motions. You know, the opportunities are endless with the dance, and there's dances about anything, and that's an important part of dancing. Alaska Native dancing is that anybody can make a dance and anybody can make a dance about pretty much whatever they want, whatever's important to them. It's a privilege to be entrusted to carry on these and tell these stories. When people watch me dance, I want them to share the joy that I have from dancing and to, even if they don't understand, you know, the words of the song, or anything, they'll understand the tune and the beat and the motions. And I, that's what I want them to feel. I want them to feel happy and to feel connected and to feel a part of something. I just, I, I hope that when I'm dancing, I can reach out and touch somebody, even if it's just one person, uh, letting them know who I am as an Unangach. It just means that I'm a part of something bigger than myself, you know. I, this is like the happiest I've been because I'm home, I'm an adult, and I get to dance almost every day. So I, I'm at an amazing place in my life. I just, you know, I want to continue preserving my culture and all cultures of Alaska.